In this video, I'm gonna show you the exact step-by-step -step process of not only how to find, but also land your next high ticket appointment setting or closing gig in 2024. And keep in mind, the stuff I'm going over is the exact stuff we give to our paid clients and I'm not holding anything back, so let's jump right in. So we've officially made it to episode number six of the Ultimate Guide to Remote Closing. Uh, two really quick reminders here. Number one is if you go ahead and down in the description below, the second link in the description is gonna bring you to this document. Um, on this document, there's going to be two or three different things that you need to click that will give you the really full access to all the knowledge that we're going to go over in this video. So make sure to click the second link down there in the description. And then number two is make sure to check out all the previous five videos to this because it's very much so a sequential series. If you don't really know about remote closing, you're definitely going to go back to episode number one and bring you all the way through. So table of contents, what we're going to go over in this video, a couple things here. So number one, finding the right thing to sell. So what type of offer should you work with? And when I say offer, just keep in mind, that's what you're gonna be an appointment setter or a closer for. Also optimizing your social profiles to be able to put your best foot forward. This part, I think a lot of people overlook. So I think this will be really important and I haven't actually touched a ton about this on the channel. So it'll be uh, some pretty new information for some of you. Uh, also, we're gonna go over to where to find these business owners. So four unique ways to find companies to reach out to, to be an appointment setter or closer for. And then also a last but not least, or actually two parts here, um, the outreach messages to land of the gig. So these are exact copy and paste scripts that you can use. Again, that we give to our private clients, but I'm giving to you guys here on this YouTube channel. Um, so another reason to go to this document so you can physically copy and paste it and not have to write everything out. And the last thing is we're gonna go over the secrets to landing more interviews. I put a uh, shush emojis on there, little shh, because it, it is definitely a secret. I want you guys to stay to the end to get that. And not only that, but also to get full context. I mean, if you skip around in this video and you try to like cut corners, I wouldn't expect to see much success. So just keep that in mind. Also on this document, you can watch the, the remote closing masterclass in full that I put together. Um, it's about 15 to 20 minutes and it kind of condenses all of remote closing into a much shorter form factor. So definitely click that on this, uh, on this sheet if you want to do that. Now, before we jump too deep into it, I want to answer this question right here of does this actually work? Like do these methods work and help people land gigs to make 10, 20, $30,000 a month? And the answer is yes. These are direct screenshots from our community of people that are every single day seeing wins back to back to back. I'm not going to read through every single one of these, but you know, just if we picked one right here, right? I self-sourced was placed this week in a setter qualifying role, five to $10,000 a month OTE, uh, selling two products, 120K, 130K. Um, I chose and accepted an awesome offer in a setter role, the great company, everything of the company and CEO stands for, uh, aligns with me and my vision. I mean, you can, again, you can stop these if you want to. Just got an offer, OTE is $20,000 a month. OTE is just on-track earnings. So the potential to make $20,000 a month and proven by other setters and closers in that specific offer, and uh, this is to show you here. And this down here is to show you, uh, there's a hundred pages of these wins. I just go into our private community, control F and search the page and put win. And I mean, the results speak for themselves. So if for whatever reason through this series, you've been skeptical of does, does this actually work? Here's just a couple of screenshots of the thousands that we have to showcase that this is something that does work and it's something that's working in 2024 and will continue to work through the rest of this year and beyond. So first things first, guys, is we gotta figure out what is the right offer to sell for us. One of the biggest realizations that I made since I've entered into the high ticket space, and that is there is an offer course mentorship group for literally everything. Like if let's say someone needs to work on the relationship and not get divorced, there's an offer for that. If someone wants to get better at jump roping, there's an offer for that. If someone wants to play poker professionally and get paid to, again, go to the casinos, <laughs> there's an offer for that. If you want to learn how to paddleboard, there's an offer for that. Like there's literally a coaching program for pretty much anything. So the point of saying that is if you can think it, there's going to be a coach or mentorship program around that, which means if you can find something that you're already interested in or passionate about that you can then partner up with and then again, help them sell that product. Not only are you gonna feel more aligned, but you're gonna feel more passionate. And I pretty much just wrote it all out here, is you're gonna feel more passionate about that thing. You're gonna wake up every single day super excited. And just something to keep in mind is sometimes like the, the most high ticket offers, for example, if they're selling something that's a 20 or $30,000, a lot of people like to go after those because it shows like, oh, there's a lot of income potential here. But you gotta remember, once you pass a certain threshold of money that you're making on a monthly basis, you know, not to get go down the whole rabbit hole, like money doesn't buy happiness. But at a certain point, if you're making 10, 20, $30,000 a month is you have to enjoy what you're doing on an everyday basis, because once your initial amount that you're, you know, that you're making exceeds 
your living expenses and so you can live pretty much stress-free is it's just it's very difficult to have that sustain you so if you can find an offer that has the happy medium between it's a high offer price so you can still make a good amount of money but also something that you're interested in is it's the classic tale of if you if you love what you do you never work a day in your life so that's my my personal uh experience with it really just find something that you're at least a little bit interested in go and search for those types of offers and we'll talk about exactly where to find them um, and hear what are the next steps. Okay, so optimizing your social profiles. This is a part that I have actually not talked about in the past. I've kind of touched on it, but not really in as much detail as I'm about to do right here. So when it comes to optimizing your profiles, you have three main steps. Step number one is you gotta ask yourself the question of does your profile pass the grandma test? Now you might be saying, well, what the heck is a grandma test? I'm pretty sure I created this. Uh, I've never seen anyone else talk about this. But uh, you really what you want to do is just take down any pictures or videos that you wouldn't want your grandma to see. So take down anything that, you know, you're out partying with your friends and getting, you know, belligerent and anything like that. Trust me, I was younger at one point. I have a family now. I not only don't have the time, but the want to do any of that stuff. So just keep in mind, if you are a little bit younger, delete all that stuff off your social media. What you do lives on the internet and is connected to your name. Uh, this is even more prevalent now than like when I was, you know, I'm 28 now when I was, let's say 18, 19, 20 is the internet. It, you know, it was, was obviously around, but it just wasn't as prevalent as it is now is like anytime I'm hiring for a position or, you know, anyone without, without our company or the way we teach these thousands of, of B2B clients to look for setters and closers is we tell them you got to do a search on their name, right? You got to figure out who that person is and figure out you know, what did like, how do they show up on social media? Are they professional, right? Can, have they done something in the past that we don't want to be associated with? Or so it's just, you got to make sure from looking from both sides as a company that hires remote closers and setters is that's what we're looking for. So as a remote closer or an appointment setter, you need to set yourself, set yourself up for success and make sure you just delete all that stuff. It's it, whatever. It's already there. Take it off your social media and really optimize it for, for the better. So step number two, is gonna be to get a decent profile picture. Now I have a cut, like I've gotten like done photo shoots and you know, been to events and stuff and have gotten pictures. So obviously you can see these these first three are definitely more uh, profile picture, like professional, if you will. Um, but I literally took this picture and this would work as like as well for a profile picture. And I took this for the purpose of this. Like I took this probably 30 minutes ago. I mean, we're in the same shirt, right? So I took this 30 minutes ago to show you that if you just have good lighting and you smile, right show your personality a little bit then you'll be fine right i wouldn't you know have like a super zoomed out picture where someone can't see your face like keep in mind a lot of what we're doing with these uh the optics of your profiles right when someone's outside looking in is we're trying to showcase to the business owner how we're going to show up for them so if you can't even put the effort in and making a half decent profile picture is they're not going to want to hire you that's just it is what it is right especially in in this space as time goes on, you are gonna have to do different things to help yourself stand out. So if you're not putting any effort into this stuff, but you're also expecting to make 10, 20, $30,000 a month, is you're, you're, aligned, you're aligned very wrong in, in that sense. So just put some effort into it, and the effort literally is like, take a shower, get a haircut, shave if you're a guy, right? Put some, like, don't be wearing like a hoodie with, you know, a ho like a hoodie on, like it's, it should be pretty basic, but you'd be surprised the amount of applications you get through and they don't uh, live up to what needs to be done. So anyway, that's a profile picture. Again, pretty self-explanatory. If you have any questions or, you know, maybe if you're on this video, uh, comment your profile and I can, you know, go audit if you want to. All right, step number three is optimizing your bio. So a couple of things you want to break down here is uh, number one, what you do. So you can copy and paste this. Again, as I've said multiple times in here, is these are like templates. I, I don't want you like every single person that watches this video to copy and paste this, like make your own, change it up a little bit. Because if everyone's using the same thing, then it's not gonna be as effective, right? Once a business owner sees one of these and we have a you know decent audience here. So if everyone starts using the exact same thing, it's not, it's gonna start to lose its, its, uh, its potency, if you will. So this is just an example, right? I help coaches and entrepreneurs make more money by taking their sales calls. So you can make this more specific. Let's say you're looking to work, uh, let's say with fitness coaches, right? I help fitness coaches make more money by taking their sales calls for them so they can scale their business, right? So just, you wanna get into the mind 
and this really starts delving more into like marketing and copywriting is you need to be able to market yourself correctly to showcase to the business owner that you know what you're talking about, right? It, like I talked about before, this is the optics of if you can create a bio that captivates them, it starts to get to, it starts to help them see you as more valuable. So that's what you're trying to do is how can you showcase, stand out, make yourself seem more valuable than the next appointment setter or the next closer that's coming to them, right? So that's the first thing. Credibility. So this is can go one of two ways. You're either going to have experience or you're not going to have experience. Now, it's okay if you don't have experience. We've talked about it multiple times that a lot of these companies, they would prefer that you don't have experience to an extent, right? Is they'd much rather bring someone in and help them, you know, if they're hungry and they really want to learn. They're going to work with those people more than like the the already jaded salesperson that has a bunch of like ego and and bad habits so if you do have sales experience however of course you would be silly to not leverage that so you're going to say personally and the way i look at this is that they're like bullet points right so personally sold x amount in x industry so personally sold 500,000 or you know specific amount of units whatever makes sense in the industry um in health and wellness, right? Or whatever it is. Um, now you would enter your credibility. You can say units, you can say money sold. You can say, you know, you were with the company for a certain amount of time, whatever it is. Or if you don't have uh, experience is you would say, you know, passionate about X amount or X industry for X amount of time. So, you know, passionate about real estate for the last 10 years, right? So it's like you're, you're what you're, what you don't have in credibility, you're paying off with with passion, right? If you can showcase that you're interested and passionate about an industry, then what that starts to signify to the business owner is that you could have a little bit of conviction because you believe in the industry and conviction goes a really, really long way in sales. So keep that in mind. Um, this is optional. I kind of put this in here. I mean, to be honest, I don't have this um, big, big asterisk here. I think the reason I added this is like, you want to have this if you want to showcase a little bit of your personality, and also if you don't have a ton of stuff like up here, if that makes sense. So anyway, keep that in mind. Uh, last thing here, a CTA. So you can have a CTA to schedule a call with me. So schedule a call with me to see if I can help you grow. And then you would make an insert uh, calendar link. So you can use Calendly, probably the easiest way, to be honest. Um, schedule once is another uh, software. But just keep in mind that um, you would put a CTA so that it, it, let's say someone is searching for like closers or setters or whatever. And let's say you popped up for whatever reason and they look at your profile and they're like, hmm, this person seems pretty legit. They can now schedule a call with you, right? They can schedule a call with you. And now you have an inbound prospect to then have an interview with. And those are going to be a lot easier to, to book because they're reaching out to you and they're seeking out you to now become a closer for their business. So now that you have a profile that helps you stand out and showcases who you are as a closer, uh, we're going to go over where to find some of these potential remote closing clients. So again, second link down in the description going to bring you over to this doc where you can click this uh this remote closing outreach log and this is something that you know we give off to our, our private clients and i like it because it just allows you to stay organized staying organized as a closer or a setter really just in general if you're wanting to start your own business is you have to be organized like there's no way around it if you want to scale and do it in a way that's effective and that you don't you wouldn't want to like you know go crazy in in your head about this stuff then just you want to stay organized and it gets you in the habit of tracking your stuff that you're going to need to do when you're a setter or closer anyway. So just keep, keep all that stuff in mind. So we're going to come back to this as we go through some of the methods that you can use to find these clients. So the first way that we can do this, I'm going to give you four different ways and you can use all of these. I would recommend to use all of these just so you're diver diversifying uh, the platforms that you're using. So first things first, we have Facebook groups. So what you're going to do, and I have a step-by-step -step here, but I'm just going to kind of walk through and show you what to do. So you're going to go to Facebook and obviously you have an account and you're going to go and search uh, one of the easiest ways, honestly, just search up high ticket closing or high ticket closers. And there's going to be a ton of job boards that are on here. So I would just, you can filter over here by groups if you wanted to. And I would just say, jump into these, these boards. So high ticket sales. So this is going to be more like, a, it looks like coaching. So I'm looking more for the boards. So for example, free job opportunities and high ticket sales, boom. So you're going to go through here and you can scroll and all the, these boards, all they're, they're dedicated to is helping you find gigs right now. Here's a, a massive, massive, massive disclaimer that I would say in here. 
is, I mean, if you look at this, there's 50,000 people in these groups. What that says to me is that there's going to be a lot of opportunities, but you're going to have to fish for the right opportunities. Um, you know, the, the thing that I always look out for in terms of some of these things is, you know, how much detail is in there, right? Can I search up the specific company? So, you know, for this one, for example, um, you know, it doesn't look like they're specifically saying what company it is. They're just saying like what the offer is. If you can't do research on the company, I would be a little bit skeptical because what a lot of these groups are and what they've kind of turned into Facebook groups has turned into like my least favorite. I, that's why I'm kind of doing it first so I can get out of the way is it's starting to be like a really bait and switchy tactic for a lot of these companies is they'll say, Hey, we have this opportunity. They'll get you on a phone call and then try to sell you coaching. Right. But not being like super straight up about that. So just again, keep that in mind. And is it again, my favorite thing to do or the, my favorite way to find these jobs? Not necessarily, but I do think it's a really easy way to get your foot in the door and use multiple of these, these different ways that I'm talking about. So again, do your research on the companies that you want to reach out to. Um, if they don't have information on the company, I'd be kind of skeptical about it. So just be, be careful there. Um, but then if you do want to go after it, so you would just comment on the post. So a lot of these will have like some sort of call to action. They'll say, you know, if you're interested and want to learn more about this a comment or message me, uh, DM me the word setter to get started. So you can do that. And then we'll go over the exact messaging down below on the document. I'm just going to go through all the ways first and then just cover the entire message here um, in its entirety. So this is one way that you can go about it. Um, this is honestly one of my favorite ways because it is a little bit more work, but when there's more work means it's less competitive because people are just lazy, right? So this is a really simple way to do it, but there really isn't much work into it. So that just means that the best, the better opportunities probably are going to be found there. And the companies that are advertising, two reasons why that's, that's good. Number one is they're spending money on ads, which means they are paying to fill up the calendar of their setters and closers. And number two is the kind of on the same lines, the company is paying money, which means they're investing in themselves, which means they are like a legitimate company, right? For a lot of these companies that are up here is they don't really have their systems in place, not all of them, but finding a company that has their systems in place, that has notoriety, that has customer results. It's just, it's a lot harder to find in, um, in that specific way. So the way you're going to do this is really, really simple. So you're going to go to Facebook and you can do this on Instagram as well. And you refresh and what you can see is over here, there's advertisements that are running. So what this tells me is again, they're advertising. For me, I get hit with it. Well, that's not good. You wouldn't want to get, uh, you don't want to hit a 501 error on that. So again, what this tells me is they're already spending money. So here's a great example is the cinematic cheat code, the ultimate video marketing course. So what they're selling is a course to help people get better at marketing. Now this just says for only not $47, don't let that get you away from it because you got to understand the the ladder of how this stuff works is they usually have a front end product that they sell for 47 to 97 dollars and then they're going to upsell people into a back end higher ticket course where you as the setter or the closer are going to take advantage of this so you know for example if i click learn more it's probably going to ask me for my name phone number and email and then that lets me know that this would be a pretty good pretty good company to to reach out to so when i click this Again, name, phone number, email. So the appointment setter, if I was to opt in here, I'm going to have an appointment setter probably reach out to me. Going back to our sheet is I want to find the information about this company. So if we go back to Facebook, all I'm going to do is click there, uh, click the message here. So he's actually running it off of his personal page here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this information over. So I'm going to uh, let's see here. So I'm gonna put the name, but I'm also going to find the company is called doo -doo -doo -doo. So sometimes as you can see, it takes a little bit. Uh, so cinematic marketing cheat code and perfect. It looks like this is actually going to bring me over into yeah, their landing page as well. So all I'm doing here is just stacking up all the information that I need, putting it in this form. And I'm going to get all the information that I need in order to reach out to him. So that's the Facebook page there. You, I can go through here, probably find his email somewhere around here. 
Um, I'm not gonna spend all the time doing it, but you, you get it, right? You get the you get the point. So you're gonna put all that information in this sheet, and I would probably spend you know X amount of time per day. So it doesn't really you know I'm not gonna put a number to it, but you want to just start filling this out, and then we'll talk about the message here in a second once we start reaching out. So that is the Facebook ads route. Talked about this right? Scroll on Instagram and Facebook. Go to the landing page or the Facebook page with their contact information. Um, add what you can find in the sheet above that I gave you. And then you want to send them a message. So we're going to go over that here in a second. Now let's go over Instagram and school. So with Instagram, uh, very straightforward is here as well. You got to figure out what industry you're going to go after first. So I'm just going to use uh, fitness coach for, coach, for example. I have found that it sometimes work bet works better on the mobile version of this. But all I'm going to do is go to search and just do hashtag fitness coach. And I'm going to go to the, the hashtag here. And once it loads up, what I'm going to do is look and see, you know, look at some of the engagement. What are some people doing? You know, this one, like this is a great example because they're like showing you how to do so like they're, they're teaching you something. So this is a great example is I can go here and then it looks like, yep, this is a, yeah, great example. So 461,000 followers and they have uh, links and whatnot. And she is a coach, right? So she's a trainer, a certified trainer and nutritionist. So let's just say I did want, uh, you know, to reach out to this person. I would just copy their handle. So Lynn Fitz, and I'm going to go ahead and add it over here as well into my sheets. So Instagram and we have Lynn Fit. And then you would just fill out all the information here as well. And a little uh, cheat code here is if you follow, I think you can do this both on 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 mobile and and not. But if you were to follow, usually what happens, oh, it didn't sh show up. I think only certain ones will do this. But when you click that, it'll bring up other people that it like recommends. And then you would follow those people. So I'm just going to unfollow because it's not really in my niche. I don't need uh, women workouts. <laughs> so again, you would find all the information. And then what you're going to do is two things. You're going to send the message that we go over here in a second. And then you're going to go to their last couple posts. So I'm going to open up this post here. I'm going to like this post. And I'm going to comment after I send the DM. I'm going to say, hey, love it, comma just sent you a DM. And then I'm going to like this post. I'm going to like this post and like three to five of the photos or the photos and videos. And what this does is it's going to basically blow up their phone for like a, a split second and get yourself noticed. So I've done this multiple, multiple times and I, it's happened to me as well is I'll, you know, I'll get a, an Instagram notification and I'll get, you know, a couple likes, I'll get a comment and then I'll get a DM all back to back. And it just like fills up my phone. Of course, if the person has, you know, 500,000 plus followers or even 100,000 plus is they probably have their notifications turned off, but it's definitely worth it because you're, you just want to get your name shown. That just, just gives them a little bit more information about you. Very, very crucial when you do this is you need to have your Instagram profile optimized for this specifically. That, that should be pretty straightforward, but if you don't optimize your profile, and you start sending sending stuff out and they go to your profile and it has nothing to do with remote closing or I'm sorry with with closing in general you're wasting your time like the profile needs to be optimized needs it's crucial it's like mandatory if you're going to do it through Instagram so just keep that in mind so that's their Instagram and again you would add I would I mean I would make a goal to add 10 to 15 people a day into this and do this 10 to 15 times a day just on Instagram you know opt into the ads. And you know, if you're reaching out to 20 to 30 people a day, a minimum is I don't see why you wouldn't be able to find someone that at least gives you the chance to get on an interview. And then, you know, let's say you take 10, 10 interviews and you are able to, to, you know, two of those companies want to work with you. You now have the opportunity to pick the one that you want to work with. So just keep all that stuff in mind there. So that's Instagram school is a relatively new plus. It's not new. It's been around for a couple of years. But uh, last video, I talked about Alex Ramosi investing a ton of money into the platform. So there's going to be more and more businesses that start to try to build their business on school. And it gives us the direct opportunity to start reaching out to those people and seeing if we can be their setter or closer. So go to school.com slash discovery. So I think I have it opened up. Yep, right here. And you can search for a specific niche that you're looking into. Obviously, there is different ones you can click on here. So you're just going to scroll through and figure out what 
what's going to go towards you, right? Are you, do you want to help people that want to make money online? Do you want to help people that are learning marketing? There's one up here. Do you want to help people to learn how to jump higher, right? Like I talked about earlier is there's literally a, there is a thing out there, right? There is a program course mentorship for literally everything. So I, the one example that I came up with is let's say, actually, no, that's not that is the one that I went to is this Max Business School, right? There's a free community, over 100,000 people in it. And I did a little bit of diving, digging, figured out that uh, Max Incubator is a thing here. And their community is free, but they have a higher level mentorship called Max Incubator, which is a higher level mentorship that I can't say 100% for sure, but I mean, it's if they're giving more one-on-one -on -one attention, they're going to like be compensated for that. So... All you need to do is when you're on this school profile you're go and when you're on this specific group, uh, make sure you join the group. I, I, if you don't join, you can't message people, but you would join the group, wait for yourself to get accepted. You would go to members and under members, you would, I mean, this is Maxwell Jones, right? This is the guy that, that owns the thing. So you would go to the admin, uh, admin, or I don't, maybe that's not, no, Scott Max, there we go. So you go to admins and then you're going to message those people with the message that I'm about to give you. And again, you do this for 10, 15 school groups a day. I guarantee you, you're going to have someone that at least gives you the time of day, gives you the chance to jump in an interview. So I think this is going to be a, a really good way to do this, especially because there's like a massive push of people over to school is a lot of people that are coming to school is they are, they're, they're, they're trying to build their business, right? They're not trying to be like a remote closer or a setter. So it just poses a really massive opportunity for us. If you are confused about this whole school thing, watch my last video. Um, I'll just put like a card up on screen as well. And it'll give you a little bit more context around that whole thing. So yeah, so then you would just do that, right? Join a few groups that fit your interest is interest and your niche. And then just find the DM the admins and DM them the script that I'm gonna go over right now. So I've teased it enough. I know. Let's go over the message to send to land your next remote closing and appointment setting gig. I put this in big red bold up here do not just copy and paste the same message over and over and over and over again you want to make it specific to the company but more than that you want to to really just like do a little bit of research on the, the company specifically because this video in, in and of itself is going to reach a good amount of people that are looking to do this is everyone's going to be sending the same stuff so when you can make yourself seem different and the the whole section after this is going to be just another way to do that but just keep that in mind. You just don't don't copy and paste this and expect like a ton of results if you're not making these custom at all for each person that you're reaching out to. So two different versions is going to be one is with sales experience um, or no sales experience and one without sales experience. So what you're going to do is you're going to change this up, right? Copy and paste this. You're going to say, hey, name. So whatever the person is, hey, John, hey, Jared, hey, Susan, whatever. Are you hiring any appointment setters or closers, depending on what you're looking for? for insert company currently. So you would insert, you don't, don't send them to this with insert company, change the company name that you can see on there. You know, you go back, you, you reference their, you know, you reference this, you would insert, okay, their company in contact is this, this is their name, right? You would just break it down based on, on each specific company. Um, the reason I put, you know, appointment setters and have that as the main thing here is if you don't have sales experience, it's probably going to make the most sense to start an appointment setter. We've made you know, multiple videos on that before. Do you have to? No, just something that we recommend. So you're going to say, I've been looking for a company in insert industry. So I've been looking for a company in the crypto space. I've been looking for a company in the health and wellness space. I've been looking for a company in the business opportunity space to do sales for since I'm super passionate about the space. I love what you're doing. So if you're hiring for the type of position, let me know if and where there's an application I can apply. Now, very short and sweet to the point, and you would put your name, don't put your name, put Aaron, John, whatever your name is, right? And then that is gonna be no sales experience. You would want to change this up for each company. Um, not only these parts here in, in the parentheses, but just in general to make it specific to the company. And then talk about like different things that you've seen on their profile, do a little bit of research, see, you know, how can you add a little bit of extra pizzazz into that? And then with sales experience is you would say, hey, John, are you hiring any appointment setters or closers for insert company currently? Same first line. Uh, I've been selling, and then here's where you put your, your credibility, right? I've been selling for seven years now in the real estate industry, mortgage industry, but I've been looking for a role in the coaching space, right? Or let's say if it's like, if you're, let's say you're doing like you're a real estate agent and you're wanting to get into this space is like, 
looking to get into the online space so I can make more impact with the clients I'm enrolling. Saw some content you put on the other day on YouTube and figured this could be a good opportunity for both of them. Uh, for both, it uh, should be both of us if you are currently hiring. So a little bit more, you know, I, if, if I was to do this, again, it's kind of general. I would say, you know, saw some content you put out the other day on YouTube about mortgage, uh, you know, how to generate more real estate leads in 2024. There's an example, right? You want to get a little bit more specific because this just seems too canned. You know, any anytime that you can be less canned of a response, like less templated, it helps out a lot, especially with me. Like if I'm going through my Instagram DMs, I get emails, DMs ugh, all day long. And if something looks like it's copy and paste, I just delete it. Like I don't look anything further. And this is something I already mentioned, but definitely change this up a little bit. Be creative with it. The more you can change it up and stand out, the better. Gotta just remember, there's so many people that are sending messages that are like this one. So when you can stand out, you're gonna get the open rate, higher open rates equals more responses, more responses equals more interviews, more interviews equals more opportunity for you to get placed as a setter and closer. Okay, let's uncover my super secret underground strategy, and that is sending video and voice messages. Now you might be saying, Aaron, that's not revolutionary. I've seen people talk about this before. That's fine. The thing is, is nobody does it. I get, again, if, I, if for every thousand DMs that I get on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, email, whatever, I might get two, two out of every thousand. And every single time there's those two, cause I, I open basically all my messages, I'll respond to those all the time. Cause I, I get it, right? It's like, it's extra work to then send videos and, and voice messages. And I'm gonna give you the exact scripts and, and what to say and some examples here as well, but it's just, I promise you, if you utilize this, you are going to get way higher response rates, way higher open rates, way more opportunity because two things. Number one, when you send a video or a voice message to somebody, what you're doing is you're showing that you're willing to put in more effort, right? You're willing to put on a nice shirt. You're willing to get a haircut. You're willing to put in that extra amount of work to create a video script, right? Send a message or a video to somebody. The second thing, is what you're doing is you're preemptively showing them how you're gonna show up on the calls. When we're doing high ticket sales and you're selling something that is anywhere from $3,000 to $50,000, you're doing it on a Zoom call 98% of the time. So if you can showcase, have your phone out, take a video and showcase to the business owner what you look like on video, they're gonna get much better of a gauge of who you are as a person and your personality. And then they'll be more likely to book you on an interview. Right, because if if they can cut out that first guesswork of again, trust me, I've I can't tell you how many times I've accepted an interview with somebody, and I'll get on a call with them, and they just don't know how to speak, like they're just really terrible on video. It is what it is. So when you can cut out that initial guesswork for a business owner that let's face it are busy, it is going to help you out a ton. So just a couple different things that I would uh, incorporate in we call also call it our one minute video. The way you're going to break it down, and again, I'm going to give you uh, a direct example here in a second, just of, of how I do it. Um, but you're going to incorporate a couple different things is, and keep in mind, you're going to get, you know, decent lighting doesn't have to be like a ring light. Like I have get some nice natural lighting, put your back up against like a white wall. Doesn't matter what it is. And you're going to take a selfie video, right? First thing you're going to incorporate is your name. Hey, what's going on? My name is Aaron. That's it. Whatever your name is, answer your name there. Um, reference content that you've seen of theirs. Hey, John. So I just reached out because I saw the video you put out a couple days ago about how to generate more leads by using something like Instagram or TikTok. And I have like a page of notes on that stuff. That's it, right? Reference some sort of content, which you can see is I can't just say that, right? I have to go and physically do research on the person, which shows extra effort, which shows that if you can put more effort in, that's someone that they want on their team, right? Uh, state your experience or your lack of experience, right? What I mean here is just being honest. Do you have sales experience? you don't have a sales experience, right? If you do have sales experience, double in and leverage that. If you don't have sales experience, just be honest about it, right? Hey, I don't have sales experience. However, I'm hungry, I'm motivated, I'm super young and I just wanna learn. And if I could do that within your company, I guarantee you and I promise that I'm gonna put in everything that I can to, to be successful in the role within your company. Do you see how like, I? and again, the delivery of that is is very important, but, it just showcases and, and you put your best foot forward, right? When, when you're doing that. Um, and then last thing, how you can help them reach their goals, but also in turn, how you can reach your goals, right? It's, it's obvious that your 
jumping into these positions because you want to make money, right? You want to make a, a better life for yourself. But you, you both, both of those things can be true at the same time, right? You can reach your goals while them reaching their goals. And you're just being honest with them too. Like they're a business and you as a remote closer or a setter is also like, you're kind of like a mini business because you're a contractor is your business within their business. So if you can just be honest with them and be like, Hey, to be honest with you, I, you know, I want to change my life. I, I want to make a ton of money being within your company, but as a byproduct of that is you as a business, I'll help you. I'll be able to help you reach your goals as well. So you see how like it, it all kind of comes full circle. So that's the example kind of bro broken out there. I'm going to splice over to an example that I did a couple months ago for a private community of what it would look like all that information in an exact one minute video. Hey, what's going on, John? Aaron here, just wanted to reach out here really quickly with a video message, put a face to the name. I actually saw that you had an application out for a high ticket closer for your company. And after going through a couple of your YouTube videos, I think it would be a really great fit uh, for me to help you guys out and reach some of those goals. So really quickly about me, I've been in the high ticket space for about two years now. I've done a lot of growing, a lot of watching videos and trainings and things like that to help better my skills and have been through about three or four different offers right now and looking for that next opportunity. So, uh, you know, some of my biggest goals is just to make more money, provide more for my family and really make a difference in the offer that I'm selling. And I think that what you guys are doing with your company could be a really awesome fit for both of us. You know, I can, you know, achieve some of the things that I'm looking to do and then help you guys make more sales and ultimately impact more lives through what you're doing as well. So that being said, would love to set up a further interview with you. You can shoot me a message back here, um, you know, via messenger and look forward to hear from you soon. Thanks. Bye. So at this point, you've already done some research about, okay, what type of offer do I want to jump onto, right? What, how do I optimize my profile? Where do I find these companies? How do I reach out to them? What is the messaging that I use? How do I stand out by using a one minute video? All that being said, I want to give you one of the biggest mistakes that I see people make and how you can almost guarantee that you get a remote closing or appointment setting job in the next 24 to 48 hours, realistically, right? At least a response. It doesn't include the whole interview process. What I want you to do is going back to the screen share here is I want you to get this, this sheet, fill everything out, and then start sending messages to these people. And once you do, let's say I send a message to, to Lynn, right? Is I'm going to follow up, right? FU one equals follow up. So follow up one, follow up two, follow up three. And you would do this, let's say every 24 hours, you'll send the initial message. And then if they don't respond, okay, go back and follow up again and say, Hey, just making sure you saw that above message, wanted to push this through. I know you're busy. Boom. They don't respond. Okay, perfect. Next day, follow up number two, next day, follow up number three. And then as you're doing that, you're also going to reach out to 10, 15, 20 people today. If you make it a commitment for yourself to literally fill out this sheet and I have, let's see, what did I put out here? 96. If you go through this sheet and reach out to 96 companies, I can say with 99% certainty that you will have at least, I mean, multiple interviews. If you just put in the work to do this, this is where so many people mess up is they, you know, they do all this work and they, they, they think that they want to like make 15, $20,000 a month, but they don't realize the work that it takes to get to that point. So don't be that person and just understand that it is going to take some work. If you want to make the big boy money, you got to do the big boy work, right? So just make a commitment to do that. Last point I'll say here in terms of follow-up, the reason follow-up is important is what you're doing, as we've mentioned multiple times in the video, what you're doing when you're doing the outreach for these companies or to these companies is you are showing them how you are going to show up for them. Like there's so many people that I've given interviews just because they are like, they're following up like crazy people that I want on, you know, selling my offer to people are the ones that are going to follow up until they say, you know, the, until the person on the other end says F, F off basically, right? Because I know that I can help change that person's life. So don't give up after you reach out two times or three times, because all you're telling the business owner is, oh, this person doesn't actually care. They don't actually want to become a business owner, or I'm sorry, they don't actually want to become a, a closer or setter or do it for me. And I'm not going to hire them because they follow up two times. So follow up five times, 10 times, 15 times. Don't stop like following up if you don't get responses. It's just the name of the game. And when you do that, I promise you, you're going to be that much closer to landing your next remote closing or appointment setting gig and just getting better at follow up overall, which is going to be a skill set that you that lives on for literally the rest of your life. So all that being said, next up in the series, we're going to be talking about nailing the remote closing or appointment setting interview. So we're talking about how to 
find the companies and reach out to them. And then we're, I'm going to bring on someone from our recruiting team and they're going to walk you through exactly how to land it and knock it out of the park. And um, we're also going to talk about objection handling jujitsu. We're going to talk about advanced, uh, advanced sales techniques and also how to ascend even past becoming a remote closer. Cause there is, believe it or not, there's a different step after you get to that point. So down below right here, you can watch the remote closing masterclass as well. Um, it'll be the first link down in the description. It'll put all this remote closing stuff into about a 15 to 20 minute video. Then also click the video that's on screen right now. It's going to bring you over to the next video in the series. Um, it, when it, when it does come out, obviously, if you're watching this on like premiere day, it's going to take a little bit for this next video to come out. So again, first link down in the description. We'll see you guys in the next one. Talk soon. Peace.